All right, thanks, Joel. So as you know, our meteorologists are experts when it comes to the weather. They also like to turn their eyes above the clouds. With a lunar eclipse set to occur this weekend, meteorologist Michael Behrens just couldn't resist breaking it all down for us. Well, you might know there's a lunar eclipse coming up this weekend. You might not know what its name is. The full name? Well, it's a super blood wolf moon lunar eclipse. And while that name sounds a little more appropriate for a pro wrestling match, trust me, all of those terms actually do mean something. So let's go ahead and take a look. Starting off with a super moon, it sadly has nothing to do with the Man of Steel. It actually has to do with the size of the moon. When the moon is full and at its closest point toward the Earth, it'll appear much larger than usual to us here on the planet. And well, that's about the extent of its superpowers. So let's go ahead and get this guy on out of here. We have nothing left to talk about when it comes to a super moon. But what about a blood moon? Does that have anything to do with vampires or some kind of strange ritual? Well, nah, no good surprise there either. It actually has to do with the reddish color that the moon takes on during a lunar eclipse. That brings us to Wolf Moon, and a Wolf Moon is a full moon during January. It gets its name from the fact that, well, wolves, of course, howl at the moon, and during the early part of the year, it's their mating season. That means their howls are generally longer and louder. Thus, the full moon in January is called a Wolf Moon. The lunar eclipse, now, that occurs when the Earth comes between the sun and the moon. That causes the Earth's shadow to be shown onto the surface of the moon. But why does it take on this reddish color? Well, that red light is actually always there. It's the sunlight coming around the edges of the Earth's atmosphere, but it's only when you combine the Earth's shadow on the moon's surface with this refracted solar light that you get the reddish color. Now, this is all well and good, but only if we can see it. And I have good news here in East Texas. The forecast is looking good. We're looking at clear skies. It'll be cold out there, so bring the jacket, but visibility won't be a problem. And there's a lot to see. Starting at 836, the moon will start to darken. The partial eclipse begins at 933, reaching a total eclipse by 1041. Maximum eclipse at 1112, and the total eclipse ends by 1143, with the partial eclipse ending at 1250. Reporting for 19 Now, I'm meteorologist Michael Behrens. Michael, can I just say that your wrestling announcer voice is amazing?